hey check this out i've been wanting to do a video for a little while now on ai and it was a particular effect that i wanted to do using ai but in order to get it to work it would take like an hour long maybe a two hour video and i didn't want to do that so then i saw this video and i thought to myself it was kind of cool so i wanted to share it with the davinci resolve community i'm gonna leave a link in the description for the open ai dolly's website it'll allow you to create a number of images for free using the ai and for not mistaken, I think you can buy additional credits if you need to generate more. I know for me, it said by a particular day, it'll generate more credits for me. Now, the link in the description will take you to this website. Click Try Dali. Now, right here, it says I have eight credits left and 15 free credits will be refilled by May 1st. Like I said earlier, you can also just buy some extra ones. Of course, with AI generation, you have to type in a prompt. You can upload an image and do image to image, or in this situation, you're going to do text to image. Now, if I actually go to the history, it'll show the images I already generated before. These are actually images of me messing around with it and some other stuff down here. These are some of the textures I created and it actually gives you the prompt that I use right here when you highlight this. It's black old paper texture. Here is this 90 film burn texture. Now you can get more detail with it. These are just some samples I came up with and then I typed into, then I typed into this little prompt window here. And we do create one like this here is the original. Click on it. You can go to this little three dot menu here and click on generate variants. It'll basically create other copies of similar to the image that you originally created. So I hit generate variants, it'll create a couple of more. As you can see here, they're slightly different from the ones I already had. And then click this little three dot menu. You can download the image. It automatically downloads on my computer at least. It automatically downloads and show a preview of it. Now I'm using Chrome, so I go here to this little three dot menu and click on downloads. It'll show me that I have a file download and I can click show in folder and it's in my downloads folder. Now once I have my texture download, I can go into DaVinci Resolve. All right, now I'm in DaVinci Resolve. I got a few little stock footage and I have the original images that I brought in. These paper textures, they're just JPEGs or PNGs. I think this one, if you go to the little menu here, it actually show you what it is. Click on it and you see video codec. It's a PNG. Now with it being PNG, I can go into the inspector tab here and go to where it says composite. Hit the drop down menu and I can select add, color burn, and all the different options here. Most popular one is usually screen. and got the little texture there. Now alternatively, if I go in here to effects, Go to my effects drop down. If you download any of my presets before, you should have a folder that says GS effects. I'm going here, I'm gonna grab the overlay preset, which is a link is in the description. If you have not downloaded, you can download it for free today. I'm gonna drag and drop it on my footage. It's gonna open up the effects panel. And I'm gonna go through, actually, I'm gonna close down this effects panel here. In the inspector tab, I'm gonna go back over here where it says file name. I'm gonna hit browse. From there, I can go into AI overlays and I can select one of the paper textures. You can see that it created a mask around my footage. From there, I can actually go in here and make other tweaks. If I hit the drop down menu on the brightness control, I can decrease the gain and the lift. This allowed me to further alter the look of the texture. You hit the icon that says BG on and off, this background, and just gives like this paper overlay around the sides. And then you can control the overall size of the mask. Move it over here and drop it down and move it up and down. Now, I didn't turn this to a freeze frame, so it's still a video. I'm gonna go through here and hit this little trash can. I'm gonna delete this. And I'll show another way you can apply this. Go back into the media pool, AI overlays. But how the control and the keyboard, I'm gonna select all the film overlays. And then I'm going to the Spectre tab, which over here, it actually already has it set to screen. But you can actually apply certain changes like zoom in and zoom out, things like that. From the Spectre tab, while your footage is still in the media pool. So now I'm gonna grab all these and place them on top of my footage. And I'm gonna hit Control D to bring up clip duration. I'm gonna click on frames. And right now it's set to 96 frames. I'm gonna type in five, hit enter. Now you have all this space in between your clips. You can go over here to edit. If I remember correctly, by default, delete gaps does not have a keyboard shortcut. I said mine to Control Shift D. So I'm actually gonna click this here and it's just gonna delete all those gaps. Now with it being set to screen, you can see there, it's transparent. If I go back here to composite mode and change it to normal, that's what normally what it looks like. You can also use add. Actually, add makes it look a little bit better. And then with all of them still selected, go in here to zoom and just zoom up if I want to, or I can leave this as it is. I can click on my footage. Then I can zoom out on my footage. If I uncheck this little link here, it'll uncheck the Y and X axis, and then I can move it up to fill in the frame and then I can bring it in to synchronize the size. And then when we change in the frame rate, when we change in the frame playback, it basically create this little cooler overlay effect that you kind of use like a little transitioner maybe. 
And as far as this AI overlay generation, I think it's gonna be a game changer. You can actually create your own paper textures or film burns and things like that without having to worry about any copyright and depend on what website you're going to, you can get it for free. You got Dolly, you got OpenAI. They're, they're more or less free with certain credits, but if you want to be 100% free, you probably have to go through and download Stable Diffusion. That's a whole process itself. If you want me to go over there, make sure you leave a comment down below as well. I have it installed, but like I said, try to do the effect that I wanted to do with it. It would take way too long. So if you want me to at least go over video on how to install Stable Diffusion so you can use AI generation for free, let me know. Also, let me know if this is something you actually will plan on using on a project in the future. I definitely am. I mean, I have a series of different like film burns and stuff that I already have and created in Photoshop. Well, I use it fit in the photo, more or less the same thing. But let me know if this is something you consider using. Don't forget to hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to the channel for future content. See you next time.